Big day today, interviewing Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling together. <sighs> Need to make an impact. Need to stand out. What can I? <gasps> oh God, I've got it. A genius. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. <laughs> we had our roller skating outfit on earlier. And we, we changed. Yeah, um, we just thought. We thought we don't want to steal your thunder right now. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I feel like I've got fully invested. Incredible. Yeah, I vow to stay like this now. Please do. This is my new this is, dress. This is the look. <laughs> and we have matching hairstyles. Yeah, I'm I loving love it. it. I love it. I saw you guys at every screening, every sort of premiere, every promotion, and you were always dressed to the nines. So I thought, I don't want to look wrong. You got to doll up for this <laughs> press tour. <laughs> guys, first of all, movie's amazing. Obviously, I've watched it once and now I'm fully invested. Um, so much colour, so much fun and laughter. What was the hardest scene to film? I think you're dressed for it right now. This yeah, was a, definitely. It was hard for me because I don't know how to rollerblade, and somehow I thought I would know when we shot it. <laughs> Ryan and it just can didn't do work literally out that way. anything, including rollerblading. Margo was so disappointed. It was just the one and only thing that I was slightly better at. She's such a great skater. <laughs> was that the first thing you guys filmed? No. No, that was, that was towards the end. That was the first time we Barbie and Ken publicly. Yeah, that was our first public outing, the hard launch. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a hard launch. It was a hard launch. The world was very aware very quickly that we were making a Barbie movie. This is the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. It's ironic because at that moment Barbie is supposed to feel sort of self-conscious for the first time. Were you two actually yeah. self-conscious at all going down Venice Beach like that? Oh, it was mortifying. Yeah. I was dying on the inside. We were laughing on the outside and dying on the inside. It was... I don't remember much of it. It was... It's all a blur. Do you have I was PTSD? exposed to hazardous levels of bleach though, so... It's all a little bit foggy. I'm pleased to say your hair is looking great, though. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you. What do you think is going to surprise people about this movie? I think it's unexpectedly emotional, mm. which might surprise people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. What do you think? Um, that. I would agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> and also... I w don't want to Ken's Blaine the Barbie movie. Ryan's Ryan's Ken goes to places that people are I just I just not going to be expecting at all. No, I totally agree. He goes on a real journey and I kenned as hard as I could. He kenned so hard. You did ken so hard. There was pure kenergy going. And I feel like people are now taking this word into their life, which they should. Mm -hmm. I, but love, I, I love it that I it's sort called of on. want it to continue. I hope it does. So I thought we could come up with the Ken Cyclopedia. Oh. and maybe add a few more words to it with your blessing. You just added one just then, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Cyclopedia. Ken Entertainment. Oh. What, what would that be? 100%. The definition. The, the Ken in me is very uncomfortable that we're talking so much about Ken <laughs> in the Barbie junket. On a scale of one to Ken, how uncomfortable? Oh, oh right nice. I'm just so happy Can you for tell Ken me? that this, oh my God. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> Another word I'd like to add to the uh, Kencyclopedia, Kenopause. Oh. Kenopause, that's great. Because, Margot, I realised that for women going through that change, it's called menopause. Which makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> Which makes no sense. Yeah. That's not fair. So I've invented kenopause. a new one. That's the kenopause great. is when you start playing golf and barbecuing. Yes. <laughs> I know so many men in my life who have gone through kenopause in the last two years. <laughs> I swear, all my guy friends never spoke about golf and then it's like they all woke up one morning and were obsessed with golf. And I was like, when did this happen? It's really weird. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Somebody get security. So as Barbie, you play stereotypical Barbie. Um, and the, I think the nice thing about it is you sort of dispel a lot of myths about Barbie. You know, she's inspiring. She can be anything. Um, do you think, again, that's going to surprise people because we've all got Barbie a bit wrong? The movie definitely doesn't sh shy away from the aspects that people have found problematic about Barbie over the years, but you're also acknowledging the parts that people have wanted to celebrate or found aspirational over the years. So, I, uh, I don't know. What do you think? I totally agree. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. You are giving pure Kennedy yeah, right now. You're just, Kennedy's as long as Barbie's perfect. happy, you are happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
love this. Going back through your life, I mean, like I say, Barbie can have any profession, but is there any job in your history that you would be glad not to go back to? You don't want to be that Barbie. Ooh. I loved all my other jobs. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, I wouldn't want to be pot washer Barbie anymore. No, I did that for a while. Yeah, I've been a dish pig and yeah. I'm happy to leave that behind. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't fun. I actually didn't love working in retail either. I found it kind of boring. That's tough. Sales. It's just, it was just a bit boring. I liked being a checkout chick. I liked working behind a bar, waitressing. You know, things where it's like you're busy. I liked that. Ken? I was, a pa- I was a pot washing Barbie too. and I. Were you? Yeah. I didn't, lo- I didn't love it either. Were you good at it? No, I thought it was the loveless wash. <laughs> <laughs> The worst for me was in Britain, it's like a Sunday roast. You have to do all the big pots. That's the worst. Mm. You know the ones that have been caked in gravy? Yep. And oh. yeah. What's the strategy? Just yeah. like the long, oh, the strategy. long soak? Or? A, it's a long soak. Yeah. It's a lot of liquid. Yeah. Leave it for a bit. Get the scour out. Yeah, scour. there's method. That's key. Yeah, it's key. Um, now, I, <laughs> I'm always desperate to try and... Ava Mendez makes a sponge, like a skewer sponge. Just I've I think it's a good opportunity to say that it's an amazing... Yeah. It's an amazing sponge. It tells you when it's when it's ready to be changed. What? Can I, can yes. I, can I Does it change colors? The, 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 the logo fades when it's time to change it. I, I literally saw this on her Instagram. I was like, that's genius. I'll get you some sponges. Thank you. I, this is incredible. I, I can know. I have a sponge? You, you gave me nunchucks, but you didn't give me any of these sponges. <sighs> well, cat's out of the bag now. I, I, was, I went we back were. to my flat yesterday and I <laughs> <laughs> opened a cupboard and there was a pair of pink nunchucks. And I was like, I forgot Ryan gave me that at the start of the job. Am I allowed to ask why you did that? Just, I think it's like better safe to have them than not to. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to need them and not have them. Better yeah. to have them and not need I them. I now feel like I... I've I always imagined Margot nunchucks. Robbie just had nunchucks, nunchucks. And I was shocked to find out that she didn't. <laughs> yeah, it feels right. Thank God. It does. Thank God you gave me some. Heels are on the ground. <gasps> right at the end of the movie, just one quick question. Um, there's loads of home movies and they felt real. I presume yeah. they are. Whose are they? They're all the cast and crew. They're all of ours. No. Yeah, there's a bunch of my Super 8 in there. Um, my friend's baby, my friend, I was um, one of my best friends, I was filming her on her wedding day getting ready. So when there's like a girl that does this with her cheek, putting blush on and then winks and yes. then there's fireworks, it's my friend Steph. I shot that on Just my Did Steph rate. know you'd done that? I told, yeah, because we had to, you know, oh, okay. get everyone to say like, are you okay with being in the movie? But yeah, it was it was like a very like personal touch. Steph lawyered up. <laughs> 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 She's currently <laughs> suing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're currently being sued. We're going to have to remove that from the movie. Well, no, but like tons of our like our, our crew and, and friends and yeah, it, that's a very personal touch. It's weird. This It's for such a big studio movie. It ended up being extremely personal in a lot of ways. Well, I'm going to be honest, you both took me on a journey and I'm being serious. There was a moment when I was holding in tea, like bawling my eyes out because oh, I let felt him it. out, let him out. I know. I think I need to go again and <laughs> yeah. just proper cry and yeah. really like uh, feel the emotion. Yeah. But thank you guys because it's a wicked film. Thanks, guys. Thank and you they're so called Skira Sponges and you can get them online. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs>